Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. You're joining me quite early in the day again and he's just gone to school. I say he's just gone to school, it's gone 10 o'clock. I'm about to head out of the house. Lucy has had enough of her exam this morning. I need to go and pick her up from school because she's got a doctor's appointment pretty much straight afterwards. I'm just gonna have enough time to pick her up, take her to our mum's to get changed quickly and then we're heading off to a doctor's appointment for her. Um, I don't know if she's going to want to be on camera or not when she comes out of the exam. I guess it depends how it went. So either we're about to cut to Lucy telling you how well her exam went, or we'll probably cut to me being sat in a coffee shop having just dropped her off at a doctor's appointment. Who knows? <laughs> Well her exam went okay apparently, I've just dropped her off at the doctor, she's going to be in there a little while so I am fully armed with my laptop, by the way, this is where Andy's buses sleep I should probably bring him here at some point in the evening just so you can see all of his favourite buses all lined up It's very cool But yeah, while Lucy's in there, she's going to be an hour or so apparently So I've got, I'm armed with my laptop I know I've been threatening to do this all week but. I've got an hour to do, it's during the work day and there's a coffee shop just up here so I have my laptop with me I've synced the book that I've started writing last year onto it and I'm going to sit in a coffee shop for 45 minutes or so and just crank out some words do a little bit of writing and see how I get on it'll be the first proper writing session I've had probably for six months fingers crossed it'll go okay Tell you what, that is one of the most productive hours I've had in so very long. I can't recommend that highly enough for anybody who finds themselves working from home or even just looking at the same four walls all day every day, especially if you're trying to do something creative. Just getting out and doing your work somewhere else, that's massive. I've just written probably a thousand words of the book having also read through the stuff that I wrote probably this time last year now and updated a few bits on there but as part of that I just ended up in this big creative pile of awesome and I've been making some plans and they're exciting plans but I'm not going to tell you about them yet because that seems to be how things are done here on YouTube but no they, they are very early plans I'm not going to make the mistake I've made with stuff before like my wrestling channel, like various things. I don't want to tell you stuff is definitely happening, but there's stuff that I'm thinking about, stuff that I'm working out in my head. And if I go for it, and if it works the way I think it could, it could be awesome and massive. And I'm really excited. And now I need to go and find Lucy. Hello. Are you okay? Have you had a good day? Yes. What have you got in your mouth? Hi there. Is that food? Or it looks like he's cut himself around his eye. Can't get the camera too close, he doesn't like it really close to his face. It looks like he's got a little, I don't know if it's food or a little cut or something just below his... you got something there? I did that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what did you do at school today? Hola. Did you? Did you? What did you do? Did you do some PE? Yeah. No. No? Did you do some maths? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have some Rice Krispies? Yeah. Good. Splendid. Well, I'm not sure what time Mummy's home. If you remember from yesterday, today is the day where she's got her last exam at uni for the year. She's still got a couple of college ones next week, but it's her last uni exam today. But the plan was that she was then going to go out with her uni friends for an end of year night out thing. The only problem is, she realised yesterday that because we live out in the sticks, the last bus back from town to here is at eight o'clock. So she doesn't want to get a taxi back on her own. I can't go and pick her up because he'll be here and he'll be in bed. So I don't know if she's actually going to that at all now. She might just be home at normal time. She might stay out for the meal and come back for eight-ish. 
I guess we'll figure it out as we go, but he's not particularly happy about the whole thing because he knows she's at mummy's school Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday mornings not on a Thursday all year. He was saying this morning how it's different day today, and it is, and he didn't want to, really want to get out of the taxi just now because he knows she's not here and she's supposed to be here. So I think, I'm sure it'll be okay. He's cheering himself up. Mail. Uh, daddy. Okay, so he's just a mail with his ditty song and has pointed out that I'm male. Hello, oh, yeah. Onion. yeah, it's you. Very good. Clothes on. Going up to his bedroom. This is, again, a fairly typical reaction when Anna's not here. He's going up there just to. It's his way of getting some time by himself while he can work through why things haven't gone to plan. Because obviously, his plan is that he comes home on Thursday and Anna's here. I just opened this big box that came, so I thought it was the tripod that I ordered yesterday. If you remember, my tripod, my tripod broke yesterday. I did come straight home and order another one, but then I remembered I have this Manfrotto one that I'm using now. I can't show you it because you're on it. So I'm using this one instead. I've cancelled the order for that, and I thought they'd sent it anyway, which would have been annoying because I can't really be spending 80 pounds on tripods at the moment. That's why I've gone back to the Manfrotto one instead. But that's not what this is at all. This is somebody being awesome. I don't know who, but I just opened it up and straight away saw that it was a massive box full of sweets. I know we said that the 100 days of real food is over. That didn't mean fill us up with sweets. So this is from uh, Reese Huckabee, enjoy your gift. Reese. we will enjoy it. It's gonna be a gift for the whole family, obviously, um, but we have a all occasion sweet shop just massive retro sweets thing so there's loads of andy likes loads of stuff in there the girls like stuff in there anna likes it um so there's going to be lots and lots of sweets in there i don't know what this is in the bottom of the box this is letterbox top shop retro sweets collection well i'm intrigued as to what this one is because it's a funny shape oh called letterbox because i guess it can come through the letterbox i don't know if this has got different stuff in maybe can't get into it. I think these were both on my Amazon wish list. That's how he's been able to get them through because um, they have been on there for a little while. We do like our sweets, but we haven't really tried having anything like this since being back on normal food. We had our Wednesday treats yesterday and all we really did was went and had some steamed buns in Wagamama. It wasn't exactly going full on, let's have a load of sweets, but I think Anna will probably want these. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So many awesome retro sweets. She likes a double dip. She'll definitely have the double dip out of there. Flumps. Batman candy sticks. Do they have a sticker? And they do have stickers. Four stickers on one card. Hold on, Dave, you're not having sweets because you're a dog. I do need to see what Batman stickers I've got though. Ho ho ho, they're just awesome. Um, and loads of other little, I mean, these are just the sweets of my youth. I don't even remember this. Love Hearts lipstick. Does anyone remember that? I don't remember that. These sherbet straw things, a candy watch. This is very bad, Reese. but thank you. It's awesome. I, I think we might, I'll let the girls and Andy get involved in it, but I think me and Anna, although we're not fully doing 100 days of real food anymore, I think we might still save Algo on these until on the way to Comic-Con. She'll perhaps change her mind if, depending on how the exam has gone. I haven't heard from yet, she's still in the exam. But I don't think I'm going to eat any of these now. I'm going to try and continue to be good. But thank you. Andy, do you want some sweets? No. Look at all these. Amazing. Do you want some? Which yeah. ones do you want? Dave, they're not for you. Dave, come here, Dave. Do you want one of those? Yeah. They're from Reese. Say thank you, Reese. Thank you, Reese. Yeah. Do you want some as well? Yeah. Um, I thought you might. Do you want to open, please? Oh, okay. All the freshness. Um, can you open that brandy? Because I can't get my hands. I've only got one hand. Let's have a look what else is in here. Have you had your pick? Or have um, I'm going to get a refresher in a okay. minute. Look at all the sweets. So yeah, many sweets. Every now and again, he does try some sweets like this, and it looks like he's decided he's having a lollipop, which is awesome. Well, we've made it through three and a half, four and a half hours. Dave! We've made it through four and a half hours of that, and nobody is dead yet. One fed and still alive child, a second fed and still alive child. I have been fed, I am still alive. See, we can do this fending for ourselves thing. Easy peasy, one slight problem, we can't have the TV on. 
because when I turn on the TV, and I have no idea how you even fix this, um, but when you turn the TV on, which I can't even do, how do you turn the TV on? Aha. What? Ah, there it is. When you turn the TV on, this bar is there. We don't know where that remote is and we don't know how to make that bar go away. So it really annoys Andy that it's there. So we're just having the TV off. I don't think it's gonna do us any harm to have the TV off. But obviously if there was something on the TV we had to watch, then we'd need we'd need a new Anna if something happened to her. But at the moment, we're, we're, we're fending for ourselves. We're doing okay. Are we doing okay? Yep. See, we're doing okay. I think we're picking her up as well, so. Um, I guess we're both staying up late so that we can go and fetch her. Well, we've just had the call to go and get Anna. It's not even eight o'clock yet. I don't think we're gonna get drunk Anna on the vlog, although looking at her Instagram, in fact, I'll put the picture on here now. Looking at her Instagram, we might. I don't know how drunk she's gonna be. Does she look like she's walking straight? I don't know. You seem to be walking straight. <laughs> well, there you go, you're officially the star of tomorrow's yeah. vlog. Well. <laughs> I'm on the vlog. How drunk are you? I've had seven, six drinks. Oh, good lord. Get in a taxi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We've got too many stains on our top. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Mark is inside. She won't come out. Okay. She's scared. Do I need the zoom lens on? Probably. Splendid. He's desperate to just go to the cathedral. Oh. Hold on. You want to go to the church? What now? <laughs> Have you got your camera with you? Yeah, I get it. Have we'll... you got it with you? I will get it. No, we're not going home <laughs> to fetch your camera. Yes. Have you got it? No, he's got the yes. Uh, okay. No, we'll go. We'll do it when we've got camera. Yeah. In a few days. Okay. We'll McDonald's then. Okay, we'll go to McDonald's too. Yeah. Okay. Right. On Saturday. Good idea. On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, on Thursday. On Saturday. I'll go on Thursday. On Orton Towers. On Thursday. You want to go? You want to go to McDonald's now? Yeah, I've already said no. He's not going to. McDonald's. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> on on Sunday, Saturday. Why don't you have this conversation in the car? Because there's a queue behind us now. Hello. Right, we're home. We're going to be quick with this one because she's drunk. I'm not drunk. She's being really... Um, but, oh, see? Drunk. Um, how did your exam go? It's all right. It was a bit hard, but... I didn't answer one question. What? There's a bunch of questions. You want to rephrase that? I didn't answer one question oh, means no, I didn't no. answer so any basically questions. basically there was four, five questions with different sections. I did most of them except for one section in one question because I didn't know what C meant. But apart from that, it was fine. So... Totally. And that's uni pass. finished until the end of September? Start of October. Oh, it's the start of October? Yeah, we, yes! Because we, we start an, an, a week later than the Oh, Thursdays. I was worried because this year, for the first time ever, we've been going to Eurogame <laughs> at EGX guys. Expo okay. for seven, this will be our seventh or eighth year at EGX. Seven. This will be our seventh year at EGX this year. We've only ever been able to go on a Saturday and a Sunday. Way back at the start <laughs> of, probably before Christmas, I booked a hotel for Friday night and Saturday night. So I wanted to do three days at EGX for the first time. I wanted to do it last year, yeah, but it clashed with her I'm induction at uni. Yeah. This year, I wanted to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the other week she said to me, they're moving our uni days to Thursdays and Fridays, and it's the last week of September, and my face just dropped. So I'm fingers not, crossed. Yeah. No, I'm holding you to it now. We're going to EGX no, no, on Friday. I've danced on no. the vlog every day this week, I think. Looking at the calendar, the first week back, so when we started last year, this year, the first week we'll be back a week later, it's the 4th of October, if we're, if we're going Thursday, Friday. He was watching the vlog of himself playing that yesterday. <laughs> That's awesome. You got loads of sweets, by the way. These are all from Reese. Have Thank a look you. at this. I did. They were. They must have been on my wish list, but because they come through Amazon. But 
Yeah, there's lots of retro sweets. Yeah, in there. I've had too many sweet things this afternoon. But yeah, that was all alcohol. I'll, do, I'll, I'll get in some tomorrow. Splendid. Right, we are going to leave things there for today because... Quality? I, yeah, I've got... I've, no, no, now you've said it, give me... I've got my Comic-Con t-shirts. I was going to show everyone my Comic-Con t-shirts tomorrow, but I don't know how long this vlog is. Hopefully it's not too long because I want to show you the Comic-Con t-shirts now. Now she's said QWERTY, I've got to do it. Secret end of the vlog club, getting to see Kev's clothing haul. There's probably sweets in here as well, there's usually sweets in here. So, a little bag of Haribo's. I've only got two shirts, even though I've come and come for three days, I only found two shirts that I really like the look of. But I've got this one, which is, what does it say on it? Um, there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if they could do something more. And it's got all the Avengers around it, which is awesome. And this one, which is really awesome. There we have. This is a glow in the dark Thanos shirt. I can't remember what it shows when it, I think, I can't remember what it shows when it glows in the dark, but it's something else. Um, but that's uh, two cool Marvel t-shirts for me to wear at Comic-Con. But now we are gonna end today's vlog. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching. I should subscribe for this year. Yeah. <laughs>